love this. A Ballard man became the most popular dad on the block, perhaps on the planet this week, when he completed a life-size <laughs> replica of Diagon Alley from Harry Potter right in his driveway. With help from the neighbors and his friends, the project took off at just two weeks to complete right in time for Halloween. Here with us now is the proud creator, John Chambers. What a project. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Made you decide to do this? Oh, I don't know. I mean, I've I've always wanted to do something really cool for my girls. Um, like How old a are big, they? Uh, they're seven and eleven. Seven uh, and eleven. Haley and Avery, and uh, um, like a big tree house or something crazy. And you know, I've been in the startup life for twenty years now, and uh, I just really haven't had time to do it. So I decided to, you know. I uh, leave my job for a creative refresh and d do a cool project for him. And this is it. So explain yeah. if there's anybody out there who hasn't read uh. Harry Potter, which is hard <laughs> to imagine what Diagon Alley is. Yeah, Diagon Alley. Yeah, uh, first movie, um, Hagrid goes and grabs Harry from his uh, crazy family and our aunt and uncle and uh, takes him to Diagon Alley to get his supplies for to, Hogwarts. To shop. Yep, you know, to that's shop. the shopping alley. There's a bunch of shops. You have to go through the leaky cauldron to get there. Mm -hmm. It's a big deal. Okay, so you made the. How big is this thing, first of all? Um, it's uh, almost life size, um, a, a little scaled down on the width of some of the shops, but um, mostly like life size. It's a, It's about. Uh, it's six shops in total, about 30 feet long, I think. And how wide do yeah. you think? Um, our driveway is about 15 feet. Yeah, so 15, this is pretty feet. good size. These yeah. are some of the sketches that you made. Mm -hmm. And then you went through this whole thing and you made the stuff you needed to make with a 3D printer. Yeah. You are a <laughs> wizard with a 3D printer. <laughs> <laughs> so we have some of the stuff here. Show me what, what this yeah, is. Yeah, actually I've only had the 3D printer for two months. I've wanted to You're get into it. You're killing me. Yeah, I can't um, figure mine out, but okay. Uh, I've, I've done 3D work for my work before. So I understand 3D modeling when I, I didn't actually do the modeling for most of these. Some of them I did. Um, Thingiverse is a site where you can just go get free models. So I let the printer work while I was working on this project. So. Awesome. So obviously, yeah, yeah, the elder we have one. A, a, mm -hmm. The elder one. That is very important. Yeah. Um, show us some of the other things. Uh, here we have a golden snitch. This was my first prototype, <gasps> and the print didn't turn out very well, and it was felt a little small. So I actually enlarged it and printed it bigger. Made it bigger. And because I wanted that to be the crude d'état of quality Quidditch. Yes. Uh, you um, can't, you can't This is a wrong. quaffle. This is was hanging off of one of the signs. Or actually, there's, I stole it off this, the set this morning. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so, sorry for whoever's visiting the house <laughs> right, right now. Right now and can't find it. <laughs> yeah. Um, and then these are some of the other props that I just haven't had time to eat, paint and put up. Um, these lanterns uh, were a big hit. Um, just great. I have to give attribution to whoever modeled this because it's just beautiful. I mean, that it's perfect is just for this amazing. Yeah. So you use this at Halloween? Did people come and, and go through? Yeah, there was uh, 2,700 visitors. What? Yeah. In crazy. one night? In one night. Um, oh my goodness. Yeah, and I would say when the Geek Wire uh, article hit on Sunday, we had between that and Halloween, we had about 300 people stop by as far as like 60 miles away as far as we know. It's um, going to get bigger. So here's yeah. video of what it's like when you walk <laughs> up there and people are, you know, obviously just amazed and um, I'm wondering how long you're going to leave it up and what's going to happen to this oh. when you want your driveway back. Well, I, I've, I promised my wife that she could have her driveway back in January. So we kind of, there was a negotiation there. Yeah. Um, I, I want to find somebody that can use this. Uh, it has to live on somewhere, uh, a non-for-profit, hopefully, um, that could use it and preserve it. There's so. a certain author who might be interested in knowing uh, about this. Yeah, I think this was version 1.0. Uh, version 2.0 is like the, the final vision that I have in my head. I want to mm -hmm. finish it. We have Green Gots, isn't the bank is not finished. Right. I well. have some details I obviously need to put on and put back. Um, <laughs> But You've taken it apart yeah, for JK today. J.K. Rowling, when it's finished, you can have it. Uh, that, I think she's going to be interested. Yeah. So your wife, Jen, is here. Jen, um, first of all, how do you get into the garage? I don't. You don't? Okay. <laughs> and so are you patient to have this here for a little bit so that we can all go and visit? Yes, please come visit. <laughs> <laughs> you sound so enthusiastic. Please donate. Yes, yeah, come visit. It's okay. <laughs> so friends and, and neighbors pitched in as well, right, to help finish That's this. What amazing. did they do? Everything. They they showed up with donuts. They um, brought supplies. They helped. They helped keep me sane. Um, just it, just everything. So we're looking at a time lapse of this going up. When when he first said he wanted to do this, did you realize what he was talking about? What no. kind of an endeavor this would turn out to be? I had no idea. <laughs> I thought it was something for a table. Yeah, I thought it would be a little section of the driveway. <laughs> no. it's. But this is so amazing. How have people, John, reacted when they've seen it? What does it mean to the visitors? Um, it's uh, inspiring um, and 
you know, they're just, you can see their faces when they come through the door of the brick wall. Like, it's just, they're, 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 they're taken into another world and they're just, can't believe that, um, you know, something like this is in Ballard. You know, they don't have to go to London. They don't have to go to Universal Studios. It's right in their backyard. Um, it really, like, takes them into that fantastical world that J.K. Rowling's created. Now, I know why I love Harry Potter so much. Why do you love it? Uh, me? I, I love fantasy. In the fourth grade, my uh, my fourth grade teacher, Mr. Whittle, um, he read us the Lord of the Rings ser series that year. And that's where I actually started, ha ha you know, created a passion for drawing. And um, he really inspired that. Um, so he, he was a, a monumental figure in my life that kind of kick-started my creative career. Um, and, uh, you know, I read Lord of the Rings a number of times. And, and when you know, the Harry Potter series came out in the movies, it was just amazing. And to see, like, my girls now, um, now that they're 7 and 11, they've kind of gone through the movies, they've been on a, like, them and their friends have been on a two-year Harry Potter kick, and yeah. it's just, it's, it's just, I mean, it's inspiring. I like, I do Inktober every year, which is an ink drawing one day, uh, uh, every day during the month of October, and uh, a lot of my ink drawings have been Harry Potter themed just because of, of their excitement and the, the, the look on their faces when I do some, draw something cool for them. It must be amazing, and yeah. for this to be out of your head and into reality, <laughs> um, you've yeah. got to be the coolest dad going, yeah. <laughs> right? I mean, how does that feel? No, I think the coolest dads are the dads that showed up to this project and helped out, right? Like, I mean, I, I, I was a creative director of 27 designers at Ubermind, and, and really I was just like the art director here. I was delegator. Uh, dads showed up with their kids. Like on day one, we had 20 to 30 people at our house. Uh, and 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 they every we put everybody to work. The kids had a painting station. They were painting the panels. The dads were building them. Sometimes the kids would come over, and we it was a teaching moment as well. Um, so I think all the dads and moms and and kids that were there are the coolest. That is amazing. Sure. Thank you so much. Yeah. It, it's I can just drop by any time. Uh, any time. Um, any time. <laughs> are there we're, hours? Yeah, definitely. Uh, weekdays. Uh, uh, you know, 9 a.m. to 7 p.m. kind of. Yeah, know. please don't show up um, at 10 p.m. Yeah, on although Tuesday. I'm a night owl, so you know, if you do show up, and especially if you're like come from far away, I'm not going to turn you away. Okay. So you know, but, but 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 please be respectful. <laughs> can we um, can we donate when we come by? Uh, yes. So um, you know, a great cause, pancreatic cancer research, something that has touched our the tech community and the Seattle community. A CEO of one of the companies um, that were funded by the company that my wife worked at uh, passed away from this recently. Uh, the story really touched my daughters um, they don't they were confused why there isn't why there wasn't a cure for this uh, why he had to die and why it happened so quick um, me myself like uh, Steve Jobs was a great inspiration to me I worked at a company where I did consulting for Apple uh, I went to Apple uh, the Apple campus and uh, the first day he was walking out and um, and so you, and this he, is important he was, to you. He for was us frail at that time, and it was a couple days later that he actually left the company. Yeah. Um, so when he passed away, I did a, a whiteboard mural drawing of him, and uh, and it stayed up for like two years in our office. And uh, so, so, so it's a, it's a cause that was really close to my heart. I'm so glad you yeah. did that. Thank you, John Stiagon Alley will be open to visits through the rest of the year. Is that right, Jen? <laughs> Jen's like. <laughs> Please? Really? <laughs> the donations are being accepted for the pancreatic cancer research. When we come back, how to navigate health care options for military veterans after break. <laughs>